The former Malaysian Education Minister, Dr. Malik, has said the talent pool continues to shrink despite the STEM-related position being among the top emerging jobs. Last two years only, 44% of Malaysian students were in the STEM stream as compared to 48% in 2012, and this represents an average reduction of around 6,000 students each year. He also added, STEM has been the national agenda for the past several decades. Based on a 2017 report, 7% of the country's gross domestic product GDP is from the digital products and services. The percentage is expected to increase 45% four years from now, and four out of the five new jobs in Malaysia is related to STEM fields. From what we have researched and observed, some card games out there use expensive materials to come out with their product. At school, some teachers teaching way are just explaining everything what is in the textbooks. Hence, we use our creativity skill to come out with a solution to solve these problems by creating an innovation card game called Awakening Innovative Learning Chemistry, or also known as Inlinch. Uh, as we know, nowadays card game has become a very popular game that has been played among the different we want our innovation to keep up with the teenagers' interest. We choose a game to be applied into chemistry team because we saw a high potential from the game card idea as a part of great understanding and education in chemistry study development. In this game also, we changed the game card concept by applying chemistry and using Arduino to make new ways of playing. Alright, this is our functional playing field. As you remember from our past video, there are six parts. This is the graveyard, this is the action platform, this is the monster platform with the activation element platform. Here is the controller platform, bonds platform, where we put our bonds and the dex platform, where we put our decks containing 40 cards. And this is the LCD monitor panel. Alright, uh, LP monitor panel, show that your current LP is 1500. This is the initial life point for every player. So let's get started. So I will start with using a monster card. Our monster card, we have three types, which is level 1 monster card, level 2, and level 3. The differences between these three monster cards is the higher the level, the higher the amount of elements that we need to use to activate the monster card. For example, I will use this level 1 monster card which is Fritz the Crew. I just place it over here on the monster card turner and let's see what happens. The yellow LED is turn yellow, green LED will turn on also with yellow LED to show that our card is ready and it's in defense position. And now our card is in, in the defense position which is in horizontal position. If I want to attack, I need to press the attack button over here, alright? And it will turn into vertical position which carry the meaning of attack position. And together with that, the red and yellow LED over here, they slide together to show that our card is activated and ready to attack the opponent over there. So now my monster card is in attacking position. What if I want to make it into a defending position back? So I need to make sure that my uh, activation element card is still there on the activation element panel. So I just need to press the defending button over here. My monster card is turned into turn 90 degree into horizontal position which is carry the meaning of defending position and also with that my LED, my red LED will turn off but instead my green LED is turned on. If my opponent over there is attacking me with level 3 monster card called the souls of nicotine with the attack power and a defense power of 5 to 5, that means if 5 to 5 versus 175, my monster card will be dead because they, they cannot withstand the attack power of the level 3 monster card. With that, my, my level 1 monster card is dead and will put on the graveyard and together with the activation element card. Also, it will affect my LP monitor panel. If 5 to 5 versus 175, of course 175 will lose and 5 to 5 minus 175 is equals to 350. 350 is my leftover damage. 175 attack damage is already been taken by my monster. So what happened to this 350? It will be received by me and that's why my life point from 1500 to 1150. So that's about the monster card. So moving on to this platform which is the action platform. So this action platform is being used by either trap card or spell card. So this is the example of trap card over here which is Sodio Valley. The function is the player will lose his or her move for one round. So if I place it over here, so the opponent in front of me will not carry his or her turn for only one round. So this is one of the function of the trap card. One more type of the card that can be used is the spell card. This spell card over here is called as the flower revival. So the function is to revive one of your monster from the graveyard that's already being killed by the opponent in front of me. So if I place it over here, for example, my Fritz the Crow has been planned by my enemy by level 3 monster card. When I place it over there, my flower of revival spell card, so I can revive my monster card and place it over here again on the monster card turner. So that's how the spell card works. The last part that I will explain which is the bonds platform. This bonds platform is where we put our bonds. To make a bonds, I have two oxygen element card over here. So as we know, when two elements of oxygen, when it combined together, it will become an oxygen gas. When I place it over here, it's already make a bond. So that's how it works. So I need four more in order to win the game. Or I can uh, slant my enemy life point from 1500 to zero by using my monster card. Society, we know that knowledge is crucial and thus concludes the significance of studying. The impacts will be based on Sustainable Development Goals, SDG. Based on SDG Goal 4, Quality Education, in Leech, our game hopes to encourage youngsters towards learning chemistry in a fun way. The game acts 
as an introduction or chemistry exposure towards youngsters. Like other games in the market, when someone enjoys it, he or she will be thrilled and has a curious mindset to learn more about it, prompting he or she to invest his or her time to learn about the concept of the game, which is the fundamentals of chemistry. Besides, based on SDG Goal 9, Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure, we have high hopes that Enrich will be the starting point for other future science-based games which isn't as popular as language and economical games like Monopoly and Scribble. We wanted to give special thanks to our teacher advisor, Mr. Yuan Menyo, for giving us this amazing idea by innovating a card game from ordinary to extraordinary card game. We end forget to mention the all card game from Japan as our inspiration to provide our idea to innovate this image. Throughout this project, we realized that chemistry is a subject people should not contact because chemistry is a central science. It touches all aspects of our life. We created this game because we wanted the society have the same mindset but that chemistry is a fun subject to learn and also to explore more about our universe. With that, we hope our innovation can be accepted by all people as one of the most fun, interactive community. Thank you.